What's going on everybody? Welcome back to 10 of the most expensive items sold on eBay recently. Today we are in the world of vintage Levi. Some nice denim jacket and pants if you will. So we're going to start off here at number 10 sold for $3,900. Let's just say $4,000. We've got a vintage 1950s Levi Type 2 507 Big E denim jacket so we're going to go through these pictures here so you can get a good look at all the little tags and all the little nuances you need to see uh, when you're out sourcing for vintage levi so we're gonna probably this video is probably going to be a little bit slower so we can really take a look at all the pictures so including the buttons just so we can put these these photographs into our mental minds. <laughs> all right, there we are. So notice the stitching there. So just all the little nuances you need to that, that stick out. So number nine on the list, we've got some double X vintage leather patch hidden rivet Big E Levi's 501 jeans. Asking price was about four thousand dollars. Looks like they took a best offer on these. So again, we're going to go through the pictures. Take as good as look as we can with these pictures. Kind of a little washed out, if you will. So then we got the print on the back side of the pocket there. And of course, the, the patch on the back makes... It's probably the best way to tell the difference on a lot of these. Turned them inside out here. The stitching on the underside. And there you are. That is number nine on our list. Number eight. We've got another pair of jeans. Levi's 501 jeans. Big E. Hidden rivets. 1950s to 1960s, sold at auction for $4,900. Again, we're just going to uh, walk through these pictures. Because me personally, I can, if I see a pair of Levi's, I can tell if they're old but I, I'm not 100% on details. I don't have that memorized yet. So this video is helping me just as much as it's going to help you. So I'm learning along with you on these. I do know that everything from stitching to the print on the pockets and what, you know, and obviously the patches. And they say something, but with the, the leg also, but. I don't know enough to comment on that exactly. So just the size is there. So there we are, number eight on the list. Next up, number seven on the list, we've got another denim jacket, Levi's 506 Type 1, Big E from 1936, sold price of $5,000. Gotta love that. First off, I'm noticing these little, I'm guessing, stitches and stitching. We'll get a closer look, I'm sure. Maybe. So, very cool. I'm seeing this rivet here, and it looks like that's wide open. So, that's a pretty big open slot if that's what that is. I'm not sure, though. Yeah, maybe it's not. Kind of just looked like it from here. Uh, we got this piece on the back. Of course, the tag there, and it say lot here, 506 double X. The red tag and the buttons, part of the details that matter. Now we're just getting into this, the size of it. So that is number seven on our list. 
Number six on the list might surprise some of you. It surprised me, kind of, but not really. <laughs> Look at this. Antique 1870s to 1880s Levi buckle back jeans denim strap <laughs> pre-Big E. So this is just a piece of some jeans, but that's old. Sold for $5,350. You hear stories all the time about um, people finding old denim in like old uh, mines, gold mines, silver mines, whatever, because that was the, the go-to wear back in the day, the rugged wear. And something like this, I wouldn't be surprised if it was found in a place like that. Because they were the work clothes back in the day. So, How many of you would have just passed up on a piece of denim? <laughs> That's the beauty of investing in stuff. You just never know if you don't know what has value. And what's standing out to me are the, uh, stri the all the buttons going across the front here and the back. Along with the button fly. The rivets. Very cool piece right there. That is just awesome to see. So that was number six on my list of top ten. Next up, number five. We've got another denim jacket, 1930s, 1940s, 506. Big E. Asking price was $5,500. They did take a best offer. Again, we're going to go through and take a look at this one. Just in case there's different pictures than the last one we looked at, and that is a stitching that I saw standing out on the other one. So we're looking at the tag there, the front and the back. Pay attention to the stitching here. So now we're into the size. Again on the back, we got that strap. Nice distressed sleeves there. I love that personally and up close of the button. So that's number five on the list, the top 10. Number four, we've got another one. So this one's a Levi's 1940 Type 1 denim Big E jacket, sold for $5,950. And much like the other two we looked at, got that strap on the back. See in the back of the buttons there. I'm showing, I'm seeing something printed there. I can't really read it out exactly. The rivets. The back there. Got the distress sleeves. We have a tag that looks like it's been distressed itself a little bit. So there you go. That is number four on the list. Next up, number three. We've got a vintage 1940s Type 1 506 again. I believe that's what we had before. Sold for $6,500. This one looks like it's in much better condition. Condition. And we're just me personally I'm looking at the stitching that is an opening I was talking about earlier so that for some reason that opening looks a little bit bigger than but maybe that's just me thinking that might be perspective well after seeing three of this style of jacket you shouldn't miss these if you run across them at a Goodwill Benz or in your local thrift store at a yard sale if you will. So there we are, number three on the list. Number two, we've got a pair of 502 XX Big E denim jeans. 
Asking price was $7,500. They did take a best offer on these. And right out of the gate, we get a up close of the tag on the back. You can kind of tell by the font, too, of the lettering. That kind of gives it away that it's an older uh, look, an older print, if you will. Some of these, you know, they can they re, kind of repopped a lot of the style of the old vintage look. So you got to watch out for those too. Again, someone showing the bottom. There is something to the bottom of it. I'll have to like Google it and learn that on separately because I personally don't know. I just know I've heard that before, but I don't know the details. Just kind of looking how that looks off. I don't know if that's just the angle of the picture. It may be. No, maybe not. Maybe they just weren't as precise back in the day. Hmm. Not sure. Maybe that's by design. All right. That's number two. Number one on the list of the top. 10 most expensive Levi's vintage items sold on eBay recently. Again, <laughs> vintage Levi's 1920 to 1930s Type 1 506 double X pre red logo. This one is. This one went up for auction, sold for $7,779. Gotta love that. Could you imagine finding that? Uh, it looks like right out of the gate there's no uh, tag on there. So I'm guessing the buttons are going to have the more detailed Levi brand name on it. So there we are. So yes, you can see the Levi brand on the button. Open it up. I guess we're looking at the stitching here. It's kind of like a single stitch. We got a strap here. I'm guessing that's on the back. Like the other ones. Yes, you can see the inside of it right here. Back of the jacket and boom. So there we are, the top 10 most expensive vintage Levi items sold on eBay recently. That's a lot of money. Gold if you find this kind of, these items. So thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Later.